Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with the first episode of Stardew Valley. Alright, uh, since Bully was sort of supposed to be a light and fun game for me to play on my Thursdays, I decided to keep the tradition going, since Thursdays are my first day off out of my week. Um, I really like the concept of farming simulators. I used to be a heavy, heavy uh, fucking Harvest Moon fan, and now Story of Seasons, since the company that makes it kind of split off from the uh, publisher who did some goofy shit with the name, wouldn't let go of the name, so then they had to do it under the uh, Japanese version of the name. Anyway, whole fucking thing there I could go into, but I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> Stardew Valley was a locally, well, local for me, made video game of Farming Simulator. We're just same sort of concept as the old Harvest Moon games, which I loved to death. And, uh, a lot less buggy <laughs> as well. That's always nice. So, uh, yeah. I wanted to play this for the longest time, have never touched it. Never once touched it. As you can see here. Snow load save files available. I've never touched this game. Uh, I've seen streamers play it every once in a while. Uh, mainly Brown Man, to name drop. <laughs> but, yeah, I've never played the game myself, and I'm excited to get into it. Now, um, this. <laughs> Uh, animal preference is obviously going to be cat, but everything else is going to be a bitch and a half to do. I didn't plan any of this ahead of time. Uh, let's go with Farmer Tan White Boy that I am. <laughs> Farmer's Tan in all the exposed areas of, like, my arm, but, like, it goes to... Manilow versions of fucking Barry Manilow versions of white after the tan line stops. So, this is fine. Okay, so, uh, hair. Um, there's not a lot of options I can go with that are close to mine. This is all, uh, this is kind of animal when it comes to hair, honestly. Which makes sense, considering that's the style it's supposed to emulate. Um,. Goku. Yeah, let's do that. No. no. Uh, trying to go with a short that doesn't look like a shaved head. Uh, I guess this will work. Okay. Let's try and find a good shirt, huh? <laughs> That's a winner right there, but nah. I need to find a green shirt that I can be comfortable with. Ah, looks good. What number is that? Twelve. All right, we'll keep that in mind if I don't find anything better. But there's a lot of shirts. There's a lot of shirts I can go through. Um, that looks like a leather jacket and shirt sort of deal. I like that. That's pretty cool. I might go with that if all else fails. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. A cow folk shirt in black. Oh. Fucking no clue. There are so many options when it comes to shirts. Holy fuck. Okay, that was an alien. <laughs> okay, I was like, wait a second, what was that thing that I saw? Alright. Holy shit, I'm still not near the end? When does it cycle? What the f that. <laughs> I'm not sure if. That's supposed to be like a sideways polar bear or like a reference to fucking other things. I don't know. <laughs> Some of these are just goofy. Jeez, we're already at a hundred and it's still going. Okay. Alright. Hey, I recognize that symbol. I've seen enough of this to know. Okay, so I think I might go with 12. I didn't see anything too spectacular. Now with accessories. Oh, hey! I can choose beards. 
That's most of the accessories that are available. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, let's just go with cyborg face. Sure, why not? <laughs> okay, sunglasses, that's good. Okay, so I cycled through them. Bunch of face masks and whatnot near the end. Uh, I think I might just go with a beard. My normal beard. Uh, it's hard to tell what kind of beard that is. That's, that's a little too bushy to be my beard. Uh... I'm hoping that's right. It's hard to tell, honestly. I can, oh, I can spin it around. Okay, so if hair color changes... Okay, it does change that, so it is a beard. All right, cool beans. Um, it's a little too... Yeah, there we go. A little too colorful for my hair. Mine's more of a lighter sort of brown. Now this... This is closer to green. Far closer. Closer. Ah, that's a little too close. Too, like, teal. That's not what I want. I want this. There we go. That's perfect-ish. Almost want it to be a five, because I'm a putz like that. There we go. Pants color. So I can choose the color of my pants. Okay, well. Uh, I'm not sure. Sure, if I want to do like a, do I do do I really want to do leprechaun-ish sort of thing here, or should I just go black with it? There we go. That works. Cool. All right. I'm not skipping the intro. The intro is important. Name. Uh. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with my real name, and then the name of the channel will be the farm name. That'll work. That'll work. So I am Thomas. Thomas, Tommy, Tom. I will literally answer to anything except late for dinner. Because that is not true in any respect. Okay. So, Stray Cat Farm. Which I believe the uh, animal will be a stray, so that makes sense. Okay, stray cat farm. There we go. Cool beans. Favorite thing. Oh, I didn't think of that. Um. <laughs> oh, so many stupid things come to mind. Um. Okay, since I'm uh, I'm essentially the furry YouTuber here, I might as well just go furries. Uh, okay, because this because this will become stupid joke later. This will become the stupidest of jokes later. That much I know. Okay, uh, well that was not what I wanted. What I wanted was to go over here because this will change the farm layout and uh, how the farm will be. And I don't think I'm gonna do anything really particularly crazy this time around. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna do normal sort of shit. Yeah? I think I might just do that. I might just go with the standard farm. But I do want to look at some of the other ones. The Hilltop Farm does have a mineral deposit nearby. That's actually kind of cool. Um, not entirely sure how that'll work out, but... Uh, I mean, if it makes it difficult to farm, I'd rather not. The woods limit your farming space, however, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. Well, I mean, that, that does sound kind of nice. If I was to do any sort of, like, living out in our country sort of aspect on my own, I would prefer, like, in a forest up in a mountain somewhere. Just fucking mountain man it. My beard would actually probably go to that bushy length that it cannot do after a while, but, like, yeah, that, that, that would be nice to do if, should I do a reprise of the series, but I think I'm going to go with the standard form. I think I'm going to go with that. Although the 
wilderness farm is spoopy. And it is pretty close to Halloween. I could I could start doing the spoopy farm. But I think I'm uh, going to hold off on that. I'll hold off. Alrighty. Now let's get this game started. It's Luigi Santa. Oh no! For my very special grandson. Is that me? Can I have that wicked sword in the back? I want you to have this sealed envelope. Okay. Um, I'd, I'd rather the sword, honestly. Okay. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Oh, come on! Now, listen close. I like that off-brand Christian cross on the fucking <laughs> wall there. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. You mean now? Right now? I'm, I'm dealing with that right now. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Yeah, that's me right now. <laughs> sure. Exactly. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Um, I, I still like the sword, though. Can I have that, too? Now let Grandpa rest. That would also help me deal with the crushing emptiness, but it'd be more fatality and murder. Okay. <laughs> Join us, Thrive, as you throw us in the cubicles to do bullshit. Hey, it's Woody! Who's that Terminated guy? Well, I guess they're no longer there anymore, so it doesn't matter. And their camera's off. Huh. So we're, we're, we have cameras trained on... Fucking guy in the front there. He, he's worked here so long he's dead. Uh, if I knew any people like that, which I do, <laughs> you're just straight up dead after working for so long. Oh, I can click on it. Okay. Dear Thomas, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed, uh, enclosed, enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. I, I can only fucking talk. Stray Cat Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Aww. <laughs> if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? <laughs> sure, what? If he's still alive, are you are you entirely sure Lewis will outlive you? That you'd add a PS on there? Also, <laughs> just like, hey, you know that old fuck over in the town as well? You might as well tell him hi, even though I'm dead. <laughs> like, he won't be able to return it, but sure. Tell him hi. Alright, whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, can I... Okay. Can I back out of this? There we go. I'm trying to do that and drink my coffee at the same time. Just frantically trying to flip the sticks to go to the X, but it wouldn't let me. This is a pretty beat up bus. Damn. Oh, hey! It's a quarter mile, which means it'll take. Not quarter mile, half a mile. God damn my brain. <laughs> I'm used to saying quarter mile because I live not that far from work. Where I work. Okay. Well. That bus looks better on the other side of the fucking thing. Hello, you must be Thomas. Hi there, Robin. You're a redhead. I'm almost guaranteed to fall in love with you. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Hey, that's the Lewis guy that Grandpa told me to say hi to, even though he's dead, so he won't be able to return that. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Absolutely. Oh, I don't, I don't have any control. Okay. Jesus, Horatio Christ! This 
this is Stray Cat Farm. Um, isn't that F supposed to be capitalized? Also, holy fuck, I have my work cut out for me. <laughs> fuck. What's the matter? Uh, everything! There's trees and grass and bullshit. Why are there rocks popping up out of nowhere? That's what I want to know. Sure, it's a bit overgrown. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! Dig deeper, Watson. I had to make that joke. I had to. But there's some good soil underneath that mess. I would really hope so. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I'm pretty sure it'll still take time. Like, several days. Just saying. And here we are, your new home. Eh, it's not bad. Oh. Ah, the new farmer. Oh, hey, my grandpa says hi. Even though he's dead. This is awkward. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Pelican Town? That's a hell of a name. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Well, I'm sure they have been. It's not every day that someone new moves in. Well, that's about what I was going to say. It's quite a big deal. Yeah, I bet. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Right. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Okay, why do you have to diss the house? Come on. Don't listen to her, Thomas. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. To be fair, that is probably what you were doing. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Well, I mean, or I could live as a hermit out here. That'd be nice. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Okay. I'll be sure to do that, should I have anything to sell. There we go. That's the thing about the Xbox version. The saving takes forever. Okay. Alrighty. Now we get started in the game. While I have very little idea of what to do. Okay, so. Introductions. It'd be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Well, I mean, I could do that. Hey! Thank you for the parsnip seeds. Fifteen parsnip seeds, geez. Here's a little something to get you started. Alright, cool. Getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Hey. Then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Hey. <laughs> Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Okay. I can do that. Maybe. First I have to clear up enough space to do it. Oh, that's how you switch. Okay, I thought it was the bumper. It's triggers, actually. That's a little jarring. Okay. Okay, so. Um, let's use the axe for a couple things. It's a little sapling, but damn it, I need it out of the way. There we go. Can I cut down this tree? I can. Okay, I'm just going to use the button this. There we go. Holding it down is a lot faster. Not really, but... If anything, it's less noisy, which is the main benefit that I want to go for here. So you guys don't have to hear my button presses every single time I do them. And I get complaints of a lot from a certain person. Jake. Alright. There we go. Break some of these rocks that have popped up out of nowhere. 
fuck? That makes sense. Froggy! Froggy ran away! Oh. Did it scare the froggy? Probably, considering I just kind of broke what it was hiding in. Alright. Pickaxe. Now, the pickaxe will take some getting used to, because uh, in the Harvest Moon games, it was a hammer. So, pickaxe makes more sense, but at the same time, my brain will probably equate it to hammer all the time, so my tongue will slip and probably say hammer when I mean pickaxe. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. Because I am stupid. Okay. Let's clear out the path here, huh? Okay. There we are. And break up a couple more of these things. There we go. Just to make it a little easier to get... Oh! I got coal! Didn't realize I could get coal while I was here. That's cool. I'm okay with that. Give me more, that'd be nice. This coal seems like it'd be very useful. In like, all aspects of this crap. All of it. Okay, could I break this? Axe isn't strong enough. Okay, so very much harvest moon rules. Okay, fair enough. That's fair. There we are. Alrighty. Uh, I'm, I'm just... I am being meticulous in that I want to make a big space, even though I'm going to use only, like, a third of it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then just follow that across. Because I'm that sort of person. I'm that sort of crazy a person. There we go. And then, whoop, and then, whoop. Oh, so it won't accidentally waste your seeds. That's awesome. Okay. That is a good thing to learn right now. Cool. All right, so. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to need to... Whoopsie doodle. That was not what I meant to do. <laughs> And whoop, perfect. Now that's done. Uh, I have to wait until I can harvest them. I can do that. I can do that. Refill with water. And uh, there's a crafting system, isn't there? I could swear there was. Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Oh. Oh, this is general stuff. Okay. All right, um, I'm going to do some sound mixing stuff because I realized that I didn't have any ability to do so before I got into the game, so give me a second. Alrighty, I'm done with that, and uh, I was trying to look for a chest to uh, store things in, and I guess I need a lot more wood than I currently have. I have like 33, need like 50. So, I'll uh, go do that. I'll just cut down a... Uh if I can get to the fucking thing. Keep hitting the wrong buttons because I expect it to be bumpers. It's not bumpers. Boy. It's going to take some getting used to as well. Alrighty. Cut this tree down. Eventually. Beautiful. Cool. Alright. Alright. Cool beans. Break all of that. And I do have the ability to make a chest now. Awesome. Cut some of this apart a little. Because this is going to be where my storage stuff goes. Pretty close to the house. Although, I might need to move it once I start expanding the house. Depending on where I need to expand it. If it goes this way, I might need to move it a bit. If it goes this way, I'll be fine. Maybe. Fuck it, you know what? I'll just put it in front. That'll be good. That'll be good. That'll be a good way to fix it. Um... There we are. I don't think doing that. Hey! Right there. That works beautifully. There we go. That's how you do the thing. Alright, so. Um, put all these things in there that I 
don't need um, organize. Wait, can't I just auto sort? Wasn't that? A th oh, I thought that was a thing. I thought that was a thing you could do. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I have all the stuff in there. Oh, I can change the color. Oh, I can change the color of the thing. Okay, that's cool. I uh, go for white or yeah, let's go for black, like my soul. <laughs> okay. Anywho, let us go off and meet the town. Since I'm here and I'm very low energy now. Oh, cool. It'll move depending on what side of the screen I'm on. Cool. Oh, that's gonna get a little jarring though. Can we auto lock that? Give me a second to find out. Okay, we can lock that. Alrighty, awesome. Now, let's start meeting the townsfolk. Oh, here's one. Who are you, buddy? Oh, you have glasses. Your name is Harvey. Okay. You're the local doctor. I'll be meeting you a lot because I will probably fall over from exhaustion more than I probably should. Because I am stupid. Oh, I'm hearing doors. Oh, hi there. You're green hair. I might fall for you next. I'm Caroline. <laughs> Depends on if they're available. Uh, you must be Thomas, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hi there. What's this? Oh. Okay, so it does tell you what birthdays are when. Okay, that's cool. Lewis's birthday is apparently on the 7th. So, I came in on winter day third, uh, 28, clearly. Not day 30. It's a whole different thing. But yeah. Huh. How about that? Good to know. Alrighty. Oh, I'm assuming old person. I was right, okay. Evelyn! Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay. Granny? I'll do that. Jody! Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined. But that's okay. I'm Jody. What did you imagine, Jody? What did you imagine I would look like? I, I'm genuinely curious now. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. Well, that'd be something. My husband runs... Oh, you're married. Fat. Okay. Runs the general store here. And I... And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Pale with purple hair. Sounds like typical goth GF to me. I might like that. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents in Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I would hope so. I'm trying to hunt all of them down. Hi there. Vincent! Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Don't, 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 don't consider that normal. Oh, and I can't talk to him anymore. Okay, well, that's fine. Whatever. I'll move on. I'll talk to Granny again. Hey, Granny Evelyn. I can't talk to you anymore? No? Oh, fuck. Alright, well. Screw me, I guess. Ooh, this is Pierre's. It's Farmer Thomas! Hey, hi there. Leah! Hello, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. You look like... Vaguely brunette, but also redhead. I'm fine with either, but... Ponytail. Uh, I, have, I have such a weak spot for ponytail. Uh, uh, my heart. Okay. Alrighty. Let's talk to you, buddy. Since you clearly run the store, I'll be talking to you a lot. Pierre, you have glasses too. Awesome. Hey, it's Mr. Thomas, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. Don't call me mister. Makes me feel old. I'm not 30 yet, damn it. I'm four years away. Don't call me mister or sir yet. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. 
All right. That's an idea. That's a backpack, right? Holy hell's bells, 2G. Two grand for fucking backpack? I better hold, like, everything I ever want to hold. Jesus. Oh, well, hi there. Who are you? Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've, I've been looking forward to meeting you. You're very pretty. You're making my tongue unable to speak, which is not hard. <laughs> you know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. <laughs> Fuck. I keep doing it. The community dynamic. It's exciting. Yeah, I bet. Okay. Um. Fuck. I keep wanting to meet new people, but then I can't find new people. Man. I'm already running, so I can't force myself to run faster. Shit. Oh! That's a quick button to get to crafting. It's a Y button. Okay. Alright. I could do that. Who's here? Uh, no one? I just waltzed into this house unannounced. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, boy. Hi there. Damn it. Let me... Can I talk to you? Who are you? Sorry. Sure. Don't let me talk to you. Fine. All right. I walked into your house unannounced. I get that. I deserve that. Uh, not good enough friends with Haley. Who the fuck is Haley? Oh. There's an ottoman in my way. I wasn't seeing it. <laughs> that was the problem. And it's 5 p.m. There we go. Penny. Hi. Oh, did you want something? Uh. Okay. The hell? Is that, it looked like there was something in that little box there. Okay, I'll just talk to Alex. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. All right. I'll see you around. All right. Oh, it's a dog, but you all you see is the eyes. Clearly a... Clearly not a happy dog. Doesn't want to get out. Oh, I just waltzed into this trailer. For no real reason. Oh, hi there. Hi there. I'm... I'm a new person. You're also a new person. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> okay, Shane. Fuck off, maybe? Fucking ass. Hey, hey, look at me when I'm trying to talk to you, you fucking putts. Get over here. Mm. Alright. Oh! It's Evelyn, right? Okay. Hi there. Mm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Am I, am I interrupting your TV time, huh? Huh? Old man? Ah? Eh? Okay. Should stop being... Should not be a jackass to the local senior citizens. But... Alright. Okay, I guess Shane is over there, drinking his life away. Okay. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. You definitely have a hairstyle that screams Pam. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that is definitely a Pam hairstyle right there. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Well, hi there. Hi there, Thomas. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Well, I mean, I might not be here a lot, honestly. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. Emily. Okay. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Yeah, I see you doing that. You're working here right now. In fact, even... Okay, so. Well, I met all of them. All the bar people. Even though I'm probably not going to be in the bar for any extended amount of time. I'm a farmer. I need to do farm stuff. Farming things. Okay. I'm stupid now. What is up here? 
Uh-huh. Oh, there's a playground. Ah, oh, cool. That's fun for the kids. Also, this overgrown fucking area here. What is that over there? I wonder. I can get at it. There we go. Can I? Oh. Flower things that are bouncing. Huh. And I get mixed seeds. The fucker mixed seeds. Huh. My stomach is starting to burp out of nowhere. There's a little bit of everything here. Plant them and see what grows. Oh, so it's a surprise bag of seeds. Okay. Essentially, that's what it is. Oh, I, I have my own cursor after all. Okay. Didn't know that. And I can get to the journal from now. That's cool. Okay. That is cool. I have no idea what this is supposed to be, though. This building right here that's overgrown straight to hell. It's locked. Well. Fuck me, then. I guess I'll never know. It's pretty late at night. I should go home. I should go right the fuck home. All right. Wow, that was productive. I got to meet new people. Got to explore the town a little bit. Figure out what's where and where's what. Out of order. Okay, well, can't use that. So I guess I'm good for now. Oh, geez, I can't see a damn thing. This is advanced darkness. Oh, jeez. Let's look at the weather report. Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. I'll take it. I don't have to do shit. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Alright, so, let's sleep for the night. And then call this an episode. Eventually, once it saves. There we go. That's good. Alright, so, that's an episode. And now I can say, I like the game. I, uh, I didn't know what I was expecting when I, uh, got it. <laughs> uh, didn't realize what I was going to be getting myself into. I mean... Even watching the streams doesn't give you an entire, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, knowledge, experience of how it's going to go. But, I mean, it seems fun. I, it, these little things, I have no idea what they're for, so I guess I'll find that out as I go along. But, uh, yeah, I like it. This is fun. I'm going to probably have fun playing this game. So... I should probably end this episode for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you're blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and fucking going through the town, meeting people after planting some parsnip seeds and we'll see how that goes from there because uh i have no idea what i'm doing in that aspect for you